The consistent stream of stormy weather seems to have made an impact on some aspects of the California drought this year. The California Department of Water Resources has reported strong snowpack measurements as well as some rising reservoir levels over the past two months along with a 35% allocation of water to the 29 public agencies that distribute the water. In December, DWR preliminarily planned for merely a 5% allocation. The 35% allocation forecast announced takes into account snowpack and reservoir storage from those storms, current hydrology conditions, spring runoff forecasts, and anticipation of dry conditions ahead, said DWR spokeswoman Raquel Borreo. The State Water Project will continue to optimize water storage in major reservoirs to support environmental needs in the summer and allow for carryover storage for next year if the spring becomes extremely dry. Hydrology conditions continue to be monitored statewide and SWP allocations will be updated as appropriate. Reservoirs run by DWR have shown an increase in water levels, such as Lake Oroville, which had an elevation of 836 feet Monday. Boreo said this translates into about 2.6 million acre-feet of water storage, which is 116% of the average for this time of year and only 74% of the lake's capacity. The Department of Water Resources is keeping a close eye on reservoir levels and will continue to capture as much runoff as permitted based on the physical capacity of the reservoir and space required for flood risk reduction as set by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Boreo said. DWR will increase outflow this week as an enhancement to the formal requirements as conditions require. Whether DWR will need to utilize the main spillway has yet to be determined, but will require a series of events. Use of the main spillway this year would depend on a number of factors, including the intensity of storms through March and how quickly the snowpack melts, Boreo said. Water storage in Lake Oroville is currently being optimized to support environmental and water delivery needs in the summer and allow for carryover storage into next year. Sean Early, the general manager of the Richvale Irrigation District, said he had a positive outlook for the agricultural year given the abnormally wet winter. I'm optimistic, Early said. I mean, we've got a healthy snowpack. It's getting a little later into the spring and I worry a bit about the warm storm that's coming, but I think we're going to be okay. The district is going to be okay. Other than that, this is a much better spot than we've been in in the past. Early said he's hoping the crops can come in once the storms let up some. We'll see what the rest of the winter brings, Early said. DWR conducted its latest snowpack survey at Phillips Station on Friday, which showed, once again, an above-average measurement. According to a press release issued Friday by DWR, the snow water equivalent is 44.7 inches, which is 190% of the average for this time of year. DWR attributes this to recent, wet storms since the start of the year that have brought considerably more snowfall and rain than 2022. The recent storms over the past week broke a month-long dry spell in a dramatic way, said DWR Snow Surveys and Water Supply Forecasting Unit Manager Sean de Guzman. We are hopeful that we will see more cold storms to add to our snowpack for the next month and help set up a long, slow melt period into spring.